All right, man, let's talk about Detroit Lions 2023 schedule release. Appreciate everybody for supporting the channel. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, let's talk about the schedule. Um, get into it. I don't predict wins and losses. You know, as per everybody uh, that knows that the last couple of years, I've been stopped doing that. Also, in addition to to that, I don't have expectations for the Lions anymore. Okay. Uh, this is our every Detroit team is slowly approaching that uh, <laughs> that juncture. Okay. Um, yeah, I just don't, man. Like I said, I'll tell a little small story before I get into it. When I was a kid, man, you used to go to my grandparents' house, so be there a lot. They didn't have cable, but the one way I was able, even with TV and cable, um, wasn't this much national media coverage of sports. And I used to read the Detroit News and the Detroit Free Press. And that's how I would know what was going on with the Lions and what's going on at training camp from the writer's perspective. Now, back then, I think the writers, in my opinion, had a better relationship with the team then. So that's what you knew. And then, you know, on Sunday night after the game, you had the Detroit sports talk show if you was fortunate enough to stay up or be able to stay up that late, you know, before school. So it's kind of, you know, some good football memories I, I had, man, just being in my grandparents' house a lot, man. Like, I remember when it was time to kind of go back to Detroit and shit, I used to leave with a whoop de whoop. I always remember my – so whoever taking me home, my mom can't pick me and my dad drop me off. One or two, I remember the thing about it, I kind of knew when it was time to go home after the uh, 4 o'clock game went off on Fox, you know, what if it was on Fox, and the Simpsons would, would come on. I knew when the Simpsons started coming on, I knew pretty much in the middle at the end of the episode, I'd be going back to the crib. So, you know, that's that, that was just a little tidbit there. So the Lions had five national televised games, four uh, prime uh, Sunday night or Monday night, technically, and I'm going to get into the technical part about it. Now, one thing that, that stands out, you know, that, you know, Tumba, who watched the show, he a Seahawks fan, p- pointed out, um, real quick, this was his thing. Like, he was like, Why is this game October 30th, the day before Thanksgiving, a Monday night game? Uh, you know, um, I think he was more referencing to the Raiders, Jimmy Garoppolo, Dante, uh, Devontae Adams. We know him very well, them kind of not being that team, but the Raiders are a brand. If you know it's a lot of their gear, it don't say La- Las Vegas uh, Raiders, like you say, Oakland Raiders, neither. I had somebody ask me because I had a Raiders hat on, and I just wear different hats. I got a nice hat collection. I, don't, I haven't bought too many, uh, you know, regular hats in a minute, so I might add to my collection. But, yeah, I was one of the few knitted hats I get my hand on this year because, I don't know, they just didn't have none in stock was the Raiders, and it's so nice, bro, 2022 version, three version of it, 2022 season. So that was kind of the questions I got from people on the outside, like, you know, and it's at home, but if you notice – Outside of uh, this game, well, outside of the Thanksgiving game, all the other primetime games are on the road, okay? Kansas City, primetime NBC, prime video Thursday night. So we playing on Thursday three times this year. Thursday night, prime video versus the Packers, which I don't I don't like it. Both Packer games on Thursday, obviously, because of Thanksgiving. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I hate Thursday night football. I literally hate Thursday night football. I like I enjoy the international games more than Thursday night football. I literally hate it because it's just not a great product. And we on there three times in a row. So, you know, you got the short week coming off Carolina, who we struggled with last year, which was no surprise to me. Or I mean, excuse me, uh Tampa Bay. And then you going into Baltimore at one o'clock, and then you going Monday night until from Baltimore to the Raiders. So you got two road games for they bless you now. Um Maybe a natural progression question is okay if not the Raiders at home because they had to give us a, a, a nine they had to give us a nine Thanksgiving prime time home game. Um, which one would you pick? You know one. You know the thing about it is I don't know how to schedule in Seattle. They played a, a shootout with Seattle last year at Ford Field would have been interesting. Um, one of the Minnesota games, Tumba said, "Don't nobody want to see Minnesota though," so he might be right about that. We played Minnesota two of the final three weeks. Okay. So, and I'm going to explain that Dallas game because I'm more likely going to that, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to try. And my coworker said they're going to go to the Kansas City game. I'm like, I guess Arrowhead is a bucket list, Ozark Lake. So, uh, 
Ozark, excuse me, the TV show. That I haven't watched it in a while. I haven't made it through season one, but the first episode was one of the greatest first episodes I think I've ever seen from a TV show. I think it might be the greatest. So you start going through the home games. You say, well, no, nah, maybe not Carolina. If they play that Carolina, I go down there for that game. I, I still plan on moving down there. Uh, so Seattle, Atlanta, no. Carolina, maybe no. The Bears, you know, we played a good game. So I mean, I guess the Bears might be the other, the other game you think about. Uh, Denver to be determined. So that might get flexed. Uh, yeah, the day before Christmas, you got Minnesota. So won a whole bunch of options. But uh, you know, we just knock off these prime time games. Um, you know, then week four. I mean, uh, we we had week four, September twenty eighth. Guess what, fellas? You got Green Bay Thursday night, but it's cold now. A lot of people were shocked that Green Bay uh, was two primetime games uh, without Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Tune. That's another thing Tune brought up was how did uh, Green Bay get uh, two primetime games, which is crazy, right? And I definitely agree. So, and they got Thursday night. So they got two third. Uh, they got three Thursday night games as well too. They got uh, Washington Week Five. From, oh, this the Bears. My bad. I'm tripping. So thanks to fucking Twitter, <laughs> right? Uh, so hold on, we pull this stuff up. I'm looking at the Bears like, damn, is D Green Bay like that? So I'm trying to look at the schedule. So you know, uh, whatever gold package mean for the versus the Detroit Lions, maybe that's something about their season tickets. Maybe a Packer fan can explain that to me and put it on the screen. Uh, One second. Here we go. It's me, Mario. I always remember him saying that from Mario 64. That's how you knew it was about to get real. Um. So you look at their schedule. They got the Chargers at 12 p.m. on Sunday, November 19th. So I don't know what that's all about. That's on Fox. So I don't know what's so special about the 19th. Uh, we got Minnesota 31st, uh, 720. I think that's a flex game, that's why you see that dot. They December 11th, the, Gi- the Giants, another primetime game, Kansas City, NBC, a primetime game. So they got one, two, three. I don't know what the 19th is, but they got three primetime. Oh, 12 p.m. is because they own obviously on central time, so excuse me. Uh, so they got one, two, three, four primetime games as well, too. And I think that shocked a lot of people um, because um, they don't have Aaron Rodgers anymore. But the league is probably banking on, uh, you know, the success of the, uh, the the fan bases of Green Bay, right? So, but, you know, uh, what else do we got? Uh, you got the Dallas. that They didn't want to go head up on uh, – Versus college on September 30th, so they pushed it to a Saturday. So or January free at first, they didn't want to go head up versus college on that Sunday. So it's it's gonna be a, a Thursday night. Technically, maybe a Sunday, supposed to be a Sunday night game, but it didn't. They didn't want to go up against college football that day. So um, that's that's crazy. And I think also college football, they might be playing a ball game down there at that point. So as well. So, but yeah, I think that's the, all the prime time. We got Dallas. Obviously, the Thanksgiving Day with Green Bay, two, the Raiders, three. We went through Green Bay, that's four. And obviously, we spoke a little bit on the season opener when the rumors started to leak out last year about uh, the season opener with, uh, well, excuse me, last week with the season opener with the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, I think that's a, you know, I don't count wins and losses, but I think most people calculate that as a loss. was a great opportunity to show the Lion brand and upset the ring ceremony. But not it's not how you start. It's pretty much how you finish. But they can't get off to the slow start they had last year. So knowing what they know, uh, obviously, I think they're going to continue to need help. Now, I think they got $26 million available cap room still. So obviously, it's a move to be made. I, in, my, in my opinion, from playing Madden back in the day, when Madden actually had great features on PS2 and 3 and shit like that, right, and, and before that, I think the money, the rookie money is all set aside already. So I think that's rookie money is I don't count that 26 million. I could be wrong. So, but I don't believe it is. It's usually already taken out. Um, but then, you know, so that's a game where, you know, I'm not gonna say a win or loss, but 
It's a good opportunity to make a statement. It's a tough game going out there. Um, then you come back home versus Seattle the following Sunday um, on Fox. So that's when NBC the kickoff is going to be a big one in Detroit. Hopefully you can get through camp healthy and get some guys, guys healthy. So, yes, yeah, Seattle, we had a shootout with them. That was another primetime candidate game. That's why I was trying to explain the Tumba about Minnesota. We had two really good games with Minnesota last year, especially the first one. So we play Seattle again, um, see what Geno going to do. They're going to have a second look at Geno. They got Jack Smith and Jigba. Um, you know, Pete Carroll coach, you know, they do a great job of talent and coaching. And then you play Atlanta. A lot of people will look at that as a win, but you never know. There's Ritter, one more notch under his belt, year under his belt. Um, see what his progression yet like. Very athletic, have issues with athletic quarterbacks. Obviously, Patrick Mahomes and Geno can move a little bit, but Ritter is a log strider, athletic. Uh, they added B. John Robinson. So, you know, Brad Holmes said they prefer Jameer Gibbs over B. John Robinson. They kind of do the same thing, so it should be some uh, animosity there. Also, the return of Jeff Okuda, September 24th. We already talked about the Thursday night game, but no Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I think Jordan Love is going to be straight, and I think the league is putting faith in Jordan Love. So I think they're going to be good, even without uh, – I think they're going to be in contention. Because I don't believe the Lions – they got to show me they can run away with this division, and usually nobody does. So, yeah, Jordan Love's a dog. I, I like him. His girlfriend is beautiful, too. I follow on Instagram, no disrespect. But, yeah, he, I, I like him. So, I mean, I, you know, that's a tough. I still going to Green Bay. It ain't never easy. I ain't marking that as a win. I ain't marking nothing to win. Lost Carolina, some revenge there. Different football team. Get an opportunity to see Bryce Young come to uh, Detroit. I think I would want to go see that, uh, see Bryce Young come to Detroit, honestly. Um, you know, uh, but, yeah, you know, DJ Shark returning, Adam Thielen, Jonathan Mingo, a lot of us love. Their defense is really good, too, man, so. Uh, I hope they didn't spend too much draft capital on defense. I don't offense and forget about the defense, which should change. All right, then week six, you got October 15th. You got Tampa Bay. I don't know what to expect. Older team. Um, we still know how to win, so we'll see. But, you know, a lot of people like that. Well, remember, we used to play Tampa Bay back in the time, day all the time when Barry was playing. Um, I actually was a huge fan of Mike Allstott um, back in the day. He was one of my favorite backs. Um, I liked uh, Ron Day. I liked uh, – Warren Sapp and Derrick Brooks. I don't never had no issues with them. I always tell y'all the two teams I absolutely hate is the Dallas Cowboys and the Chicago Bears. That's it. You know, but then you go down Monday night, October 30th, right before th- uh, Halloween. You like the Las Vegas Raiders on Monday night football. Jimmy Garoppolo, Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs a problem. A lot of people wanted Josh Jacobs. Terry moved on with Darren Waller. He moved to the Giants to help. Uh, Daniel Jones was a good move for them. And they were building that defense, Khalid, Khalid Ringo. All right. Now, I was listening to Steve Smith podcast on YouTube, and he basically kind of, you know, kind of said why Jalen Carter wasn't drafted. They said his production and his work ethic, you know, I guess from what they heard um, was the reason they fell back and took the tackle and not him. So he also said a lot of the other guys that feel like Khalid Ringo, he didn't mention Khalid Ringo, but I know he's talking about they had character concerns, and that's why he slid. You wonder why the team, like the Lions, another team kept passing him through the rounds, and he was supposed to be first-round bad pick. So you come off the Monday night, you get a bye. Then you go against the Chargers in L.A. Obviously, that's going to be a Detroit Lions home game. Justin Herbert, a bad boy, could have been a Lion. That's one of those tough games. But them drafting a kid from TCU, I think right around that time, or if not already, Keaton Allen might be gone. And I like to see him in the Lions jersey, honestly. Sunday night, I mean, Sunday day, you got Chicago, always tough, division opponent. A lot of talks around it. Can Justin Fields play from the pocket? Um, my honest opinion, I think he is. I think he's going to be the best uh, quarterback in this division. And I think it's going to happen last year or next year. And I don't like the Bears, but and in per se, I like Justin Fields. But I just see what I see. But I think he can play for the pocket, man. It's just, you know, he got the weapons now. It's going to be about that line gelling and receiver. But that's going to be a, it's always a tough game, even when they come to Ford Field. It's all, they're always tough. Um Thanksgiving, Green Bay, I already spoke on it. Sunday, week 13, after we told week 13, December 3rd, New Orleans. Derek Carr, we're going to see what Carr made of. You know, a lot of times in uh, L.A., I mean, Las Vegas, he didn't have a great uh, – the guy didn't have great defenses. A lot of – you know, he had one MVP year. I think they failed to put good defense around him. But this, you know, going to New Orleans, he got a great defense. Um, they got some weapons. Garrett, uh, with my man Chris Olave. They probably surrounded by a few more things. So I, I look forward to seeing Derek Carr. He's one of them guys that you want to root for. Week 14, December 10th, at Chicago. So we play Chicago uh, two times in four weeks. So on to Chicago, December 10th. Weather might still be okay, um, but always tough going to Chicago. Remember that old Soldier Field? 
you know, I just been playing NFL game day in that old Soldier Field Stadium, man. That was dope. To be determined, the Denver Broncos, I think that's a possible flex. See what Sean Payton and Russell Wilson is. I think Russell Wilson kind of lost tunnel vision, you know, with Sierra and all that. So Sean Payton made, made him kick his uh, personal trainer out. They still got Cortland Sutton. A lot of people in Detroit want him. Um, Jerry Judy, and they got a few other guys, Patrick, and their defense is, is okay too. They're pretty good. Patrick's team might be one of the best in the league, so uh, if not the best. So Denver is going to be a tough game regardless. But we got that at home. We usually, I'm used to seeing us go to mile high, and I think we went to mile high last year. All right. Then you got September 24th. We play the Vikings two times in three weeks. September 24th, day before Christmas, I believe it is. Yep, Christmas Eve, you got Sunday. You got Minnesota, 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time game. It's going to be a tough game. New look, no Thielen. They impressed with Jordan Addison. I like Addison a lot. Don't know where uh, Darius Smith or Dalvin Cook going to remain on the roster. But, hey, uh, I like it. So, then we played them the last game of the season, but 17 Dallas uh, Saturday game because they want to go head up with college football, national co- college uh, football playoffs. I plan on, like, we we'll go to that game, but uh, especially the weather should be fairly solid there. Um, but, yeah, I hate the Cowboys. Could have won last year. You know, just a lot of injuries and the fumble on the goal line. So, overall, I feel about the schedule. You just never know. NFL players rise and fall uh, like that. They be in a prime one minute and they out there prime. So, you got to understand NFL stand for not for long, and I don't think that's going to change. But a tough schedule. We're talking about Kansas City, Seattle. And we got – they made – see look, Seattle, Kansas City made the playoffs. Uh Tampa made the playoffs. Baltimore made the playoffs. Uh, Minnesota made the playoffs. And Dallas. So six today, 17 opponents. Well, more than that because you play Minnesota, you know. And then most of the, some of their opponents, six of them went to the playoffs. Um, so, you know, Denver is tough. But, hey, you know, the one road game I'm concerned about is obviously the opener. You might not be ready. But uh, always going to Green Bay. Um you know, Chargers, New Orleans, the Superdome is a tear, Chicago. It's the usual suspect. It's a solid schedule, but you don't know how strong it's going to be until they snap the football and start playing games. So a lot of people got a lot of faith in the Lions. I'm just going to keep my uh, feet to the ground and just hope for the best. So, um, but, yeah, definitely going to support them go down there this year. I think Sheila started to turn that corner. So um, I can respect that. So hopefully they do actually return that corner. But, hey. Appreciate y'all. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit my link tree. It's the first link in the description. Don't forget you check me out on TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, on TikTok, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash, App, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Um, don't forget to check out my main channel right here on YouTube, Goodfella TV, for more sports, music, news, and entertainment around everywhere. But I appreciate y'all. One love. Peace.